Today I'm gonna tell you the history of Orsted. I've been making Orsted a city builder, which hopefully, maybe, will be coming out this year. And today I want to tell you the history of Orsted. You already said that. Part 1. Orsted with enemies. It actually all started when I was playing Valheim. I love Valheim. In fact, I love it so much that I quit it and never played it again because I felt so inspired to make a game. So I thought, what if I make Valheim, but as a top-down strategy game, you could command people to gather resources, build a settlement, defend against enemies. So I started making that. And in fact, it was like that for a long time, but the game definitely felt off. It felt like you're making a nice peaceful town and suddenly enemies are attacking and you die and have to restart. It just wasn't right. This is the only proof I have of that version of Orsted because until update 0.2 I never documented anything. Oops. So finally one day I removed all that enemy stuff and the game felt way better. Wait hold on. I skipped over a lot of technical stuff that I had no idea how to do at first and just figured out as I went along including procedural generation. I have a tutorial on that. Pathfinding. Job systems. Logistic systems. Building systems. Mod support. Want to know how I did those? Maybe I'll make tutorials on them. So anyway, Orsted was in what I called its ancient era. Had 0.1 for a long time. And the idea behind it was the goal was to construct ore in phases. And in the first phase, you'd build an infuser to convert wood to infused wood, which would float around ore and then do a big animation and then become the Washington Monument. The reception on that version of Orsted was somewhat positive. People just wanted more, and that's where I started to struggle. I was trying a lot of stuff, along similar game design principles, just more buildings, more resources, but it just wasn't fun. It felt really repetitive, and to make things worse, my code was a mess, and because of that, it took forever to add new content. That's why I rebuilt the game in update 0.2, New Beginnings. This update, besides rebuilding everything, got rid of the phase system and added the wisdom system, which is basically experience and levels as a way to unlock new buildings, where every level requires exponentially more wisdom, which is actually a game design principle that I applied everywhere. I want to emphasize this so much that it's about to be a new part of the video, part two, idle games. I've gotten a lot of really nice feedback on Orsted, and comments often say, this reminds me of Urbeck, or this reminds me of Kingdoms and Castles, and yes, these are great games, but when I'm designing Orsted, I actually look at idle games. Orsted is actually designed like an idle game, where you build stuff to increase happiness so you can get more stuff, so you can level up to build more stuff. I just released update 0.6, which adds sheep that gives you wool to make which make people very happy and stylish. But there's a very important point missing from Orsted. Like a nice little relaxing base builder game. Can't really see where it goes from here. And that's a long-term goal. And I agree. I'm pretty proud of how far Orsted has come, but I want it to be as good as possible. I want it to be a game that has a vibrant community and mods that can be played for hundreds of hours. Which is why in the next update, I'll be designing the Ascension system. The what? You'll see. These ideas are in flux, but if you're into this kind of thing, your feedback is very appreciated. So join the Discord. Thank you for watching.